Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. If you're new here and I do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. For this week's Friday video, I wanted to pull out my Blend Bunny Cosmetics All Done Up palette because I haven't used it in a minute. And I think I'm going to use the Mustardy Row because I haven't used that in a while. And then I'm going to, instead of using the shimmers in here though, which are beautiful, but I wanted to use some of my Terra Moon Cosmetics Single Shadow Shimmers because I haven't used these in a minute. And I'll list everything I use in the description box, but I'm going to pair with those yellowy, yellowy mattes, the Veil Nebula, which is a purple from Terra Moon. It has actually like a lighter purple base, but it's hard to tell. In the pan, it looks really dark, but it has a lighter purple base with like a pinky gold kind of like sparkles in it. And then I'm also going to pair that with um, Opi or Oppy, I don't know how you want to say it, O-P-P-Y from Tear Moon, which has like almost like a soft, like really soft grassy green base and then it has um like a little bit of like pinky shimmers in it as well like pinky gold shimmers so those are the two shimmers i'm going to pair with the yellow mattes if you like the video i hope you subscribe and do up the youtube things and let's just get started the last couple of videos i did i did do like more chatty get ready with me and did my full face on camera i think today i'm just going to still do the chatty get ready with me but just do the um the eyes on camera and i'll do my base off of camera but yeah i wanted to play with these i haven't played with them in a while and i wanted to use the blend bunny palette because i have not used it in a minute so i wanted to pull that out and I know Blend Bunny has been teasing on their Instagram that their next release, which is a collab with someone, is coming out really soon. I don't know how soon, but I am excited to see who they collabed with and what that will look like. But until then, I'm just going to play with this one. Um, let's see. So I'm going to dip into, I'm literally just going to go right down the row. So I'm going to do Features, Unexpected, and then Doe Eye. So let's do features first. I'm just going to put that in the outer corner and then up into the crease. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this with all of them, but take them like less and less high up basically is the gist, like not blend them up as high. So this one is in the crease, above the crease, and in the outer corner which this is a really, really pale, soft yellow. So on my super pale skin, I mean, you can't, like you can see it, but you know, it's really light, but it'll just be something for unexpected, the mustardy mid-tone yellow to blend into. And I'll probably also use this same brush. This is a Sigma Diffused Crease E. 38. Um, I've done a look like this before where I focus a lot on the outer edge and then lightly buff it in towards the inner corner of my eye. And I really like how this brush like diffuses shadows. So I'm going to leave that the way that it is. Like I said, you can't really, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more too. Like you can't really see it. But that's just because of how light it is. So let me do that. Okay, I zoomed it in a little bit more. Okay, so then I'll go into Unexpected, the mustardy shade, and do the exact same thing. And I'm using the same brush, like I said, and kind of focus in the outer and in the crease and lightly bringing it forward. But yeah, the last couple of videos I did longer, like chatty get ready with me's and did my full face on camera, which I like to do, but 
I just thought I'd do just like an eye one like I had been doing. Just to kind of do something different yet again. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what the new Blend Bunny releases whenever that does come out. Um, I also am excited to see whenever Ensley Rain releases their next palette. I mean, nothing has been like teased or said. I just really like their brand, so I'm excited to see anything new from them. I didn't get the last new release that they had. Um, the was it Groovy Garden is what it was called. I really liked it, um, and technically for how strict I am with what I purchase I have pretty strict uh like requirements for myself so that way I don't over consume and have too much makeup and too much makeup products um it technically still fit my standards I could dupe over 50% of it but it took like more than six palettes to dupe the mattes the shimmers I couldn't dupe really or that many or whatever but the mattes i could dupe almost every single one but it took over six palettes so because it took so much so many palettes to dupe it technically fit in like my standards i have for myself but i just didn't want to purchase something that i still could dupe like the whole entire thing except for the shimmers and it is a beautiful palette and i might end up picking it up in the future but as of right now, it's just not something I want to add to my collection. But I'm excited to see whenever they have a new release what it is. Because I do love the three palettes that I have from them. I have um, Harvest Moon, Cold Moon, and Lands of Enchantment. So I do have three palettes from them and they are beautiful. So I'm excited to see what they come out with next. I really liked Nomad's newest release, the Ireland release. I didn't purchase that though just because I've noticed for the last couple of Nomad palettes there's like a couple colors in there that to me are too similar to each other. So this one had a couple of mattes and shimmers that to me were too similar. Um, and then some of the last ones had, like I purchased the Ghost Town USA palette and that one even for me. Um, the two green shimmers, I had noted to them that, to me, the green shimmers were way too similar. One had to be even deeper or one had to be lighter. Like, on the lid, they looked too similar. And so, um, and they said thank you for the feedback. But, you know, um, I just, I don't want a palette that, it just feels like multiple shades are the same thing. Um, I'm going to go with Doe Eyed now and very lightly because I know the deepest shades in these are so pigmented. Keep it just in the outer corner. I'm not bringing this one into the crease. Um, so I really like the Ireland palette that they had. Oh god, put some of that on this side. Um, but I just felt like a couple of the mattes and then a couple of the shimmers were just a little too similar, which I mean... Um, it was like an all green palette and I love green matte or green eyeshadow but I just was like oh, I just don't want anything that's like that similar to each other so I didn't buy that one but I thought it was super cute and I really liked the theme for that one I love Nomad like their themes and destinations and stuff even my husband thinks it's really fun that they do that and like, I'll read him the clues and stuff. He really liked the clues for the Ghost Town USA palette because he loves anything, like, cowboy, Wild West theme. <laughs> so I read him the clues for that, and he had a lot of fun with those ones. Um, so I really love their brand and just kind of, like, their theme and what they do. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, but... Yeah, I'm excited to see what they have also this year coming out. Uh, but yeah, so far 2024, no makeup purchases. I thought about purchasing one of the Odin's Eye mystery boxes because I really 
like Odin's Eye. I haven't tried anything yet, but so many things have caught my eye, but not enough to like pull the trigger. So I have thought about purchasing from Odin's Eye before, but I just haven't yet. I feel like this side needs a little bit more to match this side. Um, and so I kind of thought about buying one of the mystery boxes, but then I was like, what if I get like a bunch of products that I wouldn't have wanted? Because you can't specify. So what if my box is like mainly the jewelry? I don't want that. <laughs> so I opted against it because I was like, if I'm gonna spend, you know, 45 or $75, I might as well pick like the couple of products that I for sure would want to try and do it that way. Um, so yeah, I opted out of doing that. I also have seen like mixed reviews on Odin's Eye mystery boxes. I don't know, quite a few people I saw said like their boxes were not good and it seemed like the last year and the year before and it seemed like um, their products were really old. I don't know about that, but I mainly just decided not to because it was like, well, if I'm gonna spend that money, I might as well like solely buy products I for sure would like to try because they have a couple of blushes and eyeshadow palettes that I think would be really fun and that I would like to try but I haven't pulled the trigger because like the eyeshadow palettes I could probably dupe so that's why I haven't pulled the trigger because I'm like I could probably dupe these throughout my collection I don't know how many palettes it would take but I could probably dupe them and then it's just like well I don't know why I'm cleaning this up because I know for a fact I'm gonna have shimmer all over my under eye here before I, but I guess I'll do a pre-clean, but I'll have shimmer everywhere. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the purple one, which was Veil Nebula, I think, I can't remember. Um, but don't worry, I'll list everything down below. My under eyes like look all like shiny now because of wet product there. But yeah, this is just what I did with the mattes so far. It's kind of like soft keeping it out here but I thought it'd be fun to pair the yellow with these uh, Terra Moon Cosmetics shimmers and keeping them um, like I don't know doing some like fun colors with it or whatever so the purple I'm gonna put it in an angle leaving like this front open at an angle I'll show you when I have this applied everywhere I want and I'm putting this out to the edge of that dark brown um, taking a clean finger and kind of tapping it over just to blend them together but I don't want the shimmer like all the way out there I think that's the one I wanted from what I had swatched or is this the other one I think that's the right one I think the other one's even darker or did I put the wrong one? Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. I put the one I was not going to do on there. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh. I don't know. I think I picked the other one, but now I honestly can't remember. Well, whatever, it is a purple one. I think this is the other one though that I wasn't going to do because this one's a little bit deeper. I was gonna do the other one, it was a little bit lighter. The other one is called Prism Skies. I think that's the one I wanted to do, but it's fine, we'll stick with this one. <laughs> oh well, focus, focus, focus. Is it gonna focus? I don't know why my camera is now not focusing. Is it focused and like my eyes are blurry or is it not focused? Okay, there it goes. So this is what I mean by like at an angle, see how the front is left open. Okay, well, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm kind of annoyed now because I really wanted to use the other purple, oh well. It had a lighter base. Yeah. I should have triple checked before I started. Oh well. 
I like swatched a whole bunch of these too just to make sure I picked out the ones that I for sure wanted. And then I still go and mess up. Typical. Typical, typical, typical. I mean this one will still look pretty but the purple base in it is a little bit deeper. And so I feel like you can't really tell that it's purple. The other one was a little bit lighter. And I think the other one would have went better with the green that I wanted to pair with this. Oh well. I really thought I had the right one. <laughs> I really thought I was going on the right one. But I did think, I was like, man, the pan, that one looks darker. But when I swatched, but I had it mixed up. So that's the purple one laid out, which, I mean, I'll zoom in at the end. But hopefully you can see, like, the purple base when I turn my head. But I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the green one, which I don't remember what that one was called at all. But again, listed down below. And I'll put that in the inner portion. And then because I have it angled, like, I'll also bring it up into here. Like, up on top of the purple a little bit. And then kind of tapping over the edge of the purple, too, just to blend them together and if you ever do this and you feel like the shade that you're putting in the front takes over the one that you laid down first you can always just dip back into the first shade and kind of hit the edge it's pretty it looks like it's taken over more than it has because putting this green right here is bringing out the green tone and like the greenish gold reflect of this purple. But I'm gonna leave it the way it is because it's not taking over that much. It just is bringing out some of the other colors in the reflect that weren't as strong before. This color is really pretty. It has like that, like I said, like that minty like grass green base to it. And then, of course, like the pinky reflect. It's really pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. I need to bust these out more. It's just like now that brands are kind of including such special shimmers in their own palette. It's like hard to remember to pull these single shadows out to use because it's like brands are including singles that are just like these, you know, like special, shifty, dimensional, extra sparkly. And so it can kind of make it difficult to remember to pull them out. But I really should because I love all my Terra Moon singles. And this shade is so pretty. That green one. I need to use that way more. Okay. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to clean up and do my base and all of that stuff. And then I'll come back all zoomed in and show you the final look. I'm going to have glitter on my face. It is what it is. That's what happens when you use these extra sparkly fun shades. <laughs> And yeah, I'll show you the finished look in a minute. Okay, this is the final look. I think it came out really cute. I used my Oric Glow Less on my cheeks as always, but then I did put a little bit of the um, shimmer shade in here that's with the Green Row Shine. It's like a white base, but with like really pretty like, I don't even know what color you would call it, like a minty-ish green. Um, so I did put that a little bit on top of the Oric glow lust not sure if the green's coming through and then i used that shade as my inner corner highlight to like continue the green that we used on the inner part of the lid um but to have a color that had a little less of a base but i think the terra moon cosmetic shade would have also looked really pretty as an inner corner highlight and then i'll list everything but fenty skin tint nars radiant creamy concealer uh, blend bunny omni lash mascara charlotte tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I swear ever since I hit pan, I just feel like it's not, like, getting any less. Like, I'm using it and using it, and it's just still there. 
Hourglass Ghost Ambient Lighting Palette from 2019 that I've been working hard on since then and I still am got a long ways to go but uh, bronzer and blushes like the bronzer you can see pan like you can't but like the blushes I use just as much and like no pan same with the highlighter like I don't know <laughs> I don't know what else to do to use this up I literally like don't know if I'm ever gonna hit pan on these other things but anyways um yeah I think that's everything I use didn't use the setting spray because it is seven o'clock at night and have early bedtimes because I have a little toddler so this is gonna come off in like an hour um, so no setting spray today but let's zoom in look at the look so again I used the yellow row in the blend bunny all done up palette which looks super cute and then I wanted to just pair it with some more fun shimmers so I hope on this outer one that you um, that I put it on first as the purple base I hope you can see it that's why I wanted to use the other one because it was a little bit lighter. So I was hoping you'd be able to see the purple a little bit more with the yellow. Um, and then the inner corner has that one that has more of that like, it's not a mint green, but it is like a lighter green shade. Hopefully, I'm like hoping I have it angled right so you guys can really see the shifts and the shimmers. And I think these look really pretty paired with the yellow. I think it just makes it Kind of fun a little bit different hopefully you guys got to see the shifts i don't know it's so hard because i can't show you and like look in the camera at the same time to see if you can see it but hopefully like when i turn my head i can see the purple base but i don't know and like i can see more of the green base and then you get you know all the sparkle and reflect but anyways that was the look. I hope you guys will like it. I will list everything in the description box down below. And yeah, I will see you next week with a different video. Of course, doing some type of eyeshadow tutorial with nothing new because that's my main thing I do since I don't buy a lot of makeup. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys then. Thanks. Bye.